Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn how to higher order derivatives. And for each problem, we're going to find the indicated derivative with respect to x. So if I was given this problem, y equals negative 2 x to the third power minus 4 x to the negative 3 power. And we wanted to find the third derivative. Okay? Well, first thing I need to do is find the first derivative. So to do that, apply the power rule, <coughs> dy dx here. Power rule, 3 comes down, 3 times negative 2 is a negative 6x squared. And then we have a minus here, minus, th negative 3 times 4 is a negative 12x, and we subtract the exponent by 1, so negative 3 minus 1 is a negative 4, okay? Keep that in mind. It's still going to that negative. Now, adding, uh, subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. Okay, so now we plus a positive 12x to the negative fourth power. Okay, well, let's go find the second derivative here. Okay, so we need to find that second derivative. Let's keep going. So dy, or d squared y, sorry, over dx squared is equal to, 2 comes down, 2 times negative 6 is negative 12x to the first power, plus, well, it's negative 4 times 12, and that's a negative 48. And that's x to the negative fifth power, right? So the negative came down, negative 4 times 12 is a negative 48, okay? And then we subtract the exponent by 1 to get a negative 5. So now we need to find the third derivative here, the third derivative, d to the third power y over dx to the third. Power rule again leaves us just, well, of the negative 12 right there. Instead of negative 12x, we take a derivative of that, it's just negative 12. Plus, okay, Negative 5 times negative 48. Now, I don't know that off the top of my head, so, okay, we do 48 times 5. Okay, and they're both going to be a negative multiply, so it's going to be positive. Uh, 5 times 8 is 40. Okay, 4. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 4 is 24, so we have 240 here. So we have a 240x to the negative 6th power, okay? Now, when we write our final answer here, we don't like to have x uh, or the power to be negative. So when I rewrite this, d to the third power y, dx to the third, all right, negative 12 plus 240 over x to the positive 6 power, okay? And there we have it. We have x to the positive 6 power at the end there. So our final answer is the third derivative is equal to negative 12 plus 240 over x to the positive 6 power. So let's recap. We're given our, our uh, equation here, y equals negative 2x to the third minus 4x to the negative third power, and we need to find the third derivative. So I use a power rule to get my negative 6x to the second power plus a positive 12x to the negative fourth. Okay? I have the power rule again to find the second derivative, and the 2 came down multiplied by the negative 6, gave me the negative 12x right there. And then the negative 4 came down and multiplied by the 12, gave me a negative 48x, and then we subtract x squared by 1 to the negative 5. Okay? From there, we have to find the third derivative. Okay? Derivative of negative 12x, use the power rule, which is negative 12. And the uh, derivative of negative 40 x to the negative fifth power, well, negative 5 times negative 40, we found to be a positive 240. Remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. And then we have x uh, to the negative fifth power, we subtracted 1, we have x to the negative sixth power. Now, when we write our final answer, though, we don't like to have x or our power to be negative, so we write that in a denominator, all right, and can make it a positive, right, um, because they're the same thing. And so our final answer here, our third derivative, d to the third power y over dx to the third, is equal to negative 12 plus. 240 over x to the positive 6 